This will be my co-host today. Melissa is in need of a haircut. Just kidding. Shake. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not on Instagram. Nope, but I am. All right. Hi, guys. Good evening. <laughs> you love doing that. <laughs> Good evening. Um, okay, so we just wanted to do a little recap today about our experience with our egg retrieval. So um, the morning of the egg retrieval, we, you know, we're hanging out. And yeah, we got up normal time for work. Yep, because we had to be at like in the parking lot, like in the parking structure or whatever at 7.15 because I had some meds I needed to take. So we did that. <laughs> we took a little footage, so we'll go ahead and just like put that in here so you guys can kind of see how we were feeling. I'm pretty sure I was very stoic because I was pretty nervous, to be honest. Um, I was like all serious, no, all business, no party. So, um, you were scared. Yeah, I'm scary as hell. That's the scariest part for me physically, you know, like putting a, an egg back, it's scary because you're like, oh, I can have a forever child or children from this. So in that way, it's like exciting and scary. But the other way is like, this is gonna be painful and I know it and like things could go really badly or I, there could be no eggs or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, all of those things are a possibility when you're doing anesthesia and poking you in the ovaries so um yeah so we'll insert the video of us hanging out in the parking lot here hmm. morning guys Good morning we're hitting you in the morning here it's our big day we're in the parking garage so it's super dark so sorry um oh. yeah we're gonna head in in a couple minutes well i need to take my medication they want me to take in like a minute or so um, I'm taking a Valium, a Levaquin, and two extra strength Tylenols. And, uh, yeah, we'll head in. They want us in the building at 7.30, like, checked into the... Waiting room. Suite area suite. where they do surgery, so... Um, and then the procedure's at 8.30, so we still have, like, an hour and 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling anxious about it, that's all. Hmm. Anxious. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for some results and some numbers. Yeah. So at, when we leave today, we should know how many eggs that they retrieved. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for lots of mature follicles. So anyway, I'm going to take my meds and then we're gonna go in. Yep. We'll talk to you guys after. Bye. Oh, after we took the meds in the car. Then uh, we sat there for about 15 minutes, you know, getting hyped up to do do the deal. Yeah. Um, and then we walked into the building and at 7.30 no, in the morning, there's like nobody there basically, which is nice, I guess. Yep. Um, so we rode the elevator up to our floor and got off and, you know, kind of just walked down the hall. And they have their like procedure suite across the hall from like the main office area. So we went in there and it's like dark and no one's there and there's just like a... It's to yourself, so you don't have to be sitting around a bunch of people. Yeah, you don't have to be sitting around a whole bunch of other people who are just there for, like, regular appointments. Like, you're there for the procedure. Like, you're over to the side. So, um, you know, for part of it, well, I was in the back, and, like, Eric was separated from me. Then, like, he had an area where he could wait where they knew they could easily come and get him. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. So, a little video footage of that little area. Hey guys, on the fourth floor. First one's here. Um, then very quickly, there's like a video phone button thing. So you push and it like alerts them in the back and they can see like who it is waiting out front in that little procedure waiting area. So they came and got me very quickly like cause we were there right on time on the dot. Yeah. So there's not much waiting around anywhere. No. So they came and got me and took me back and it was business from there. So I 
um, changed out of my clothes. They actually let me keep on my like tank top and my bra, uh, but any long sleeves they had me take off and then obviously a dress from the waist down and then they gave me like a beautiful gown to wear and those like anti-slip socks and uh, then the nurse um, got to work putting in an IV and then they went back and got Eric and he, he joined me for a little bit while I was sitting there and the volume that I took had started to kick in a little and um, yeah. So then when the time came, they were like, all right, well, let's go. And they yeah. just started pushing me towards the back over to the procedure room. Like they were on it. Well, the doctor came in, he had a couple words first. And yeah, the doctor came in and um, it was different than our like assigned doctor because it's a practice. So they all kind of like take shifts like this week, it's this doctor and this week, it's that doctor. So um, when we went to our pre-op appointment, we met this other doctor that yep. um he's very nice like super knowledgeable and kind and like good bedside manner like but he's business like he'll answer any question you have so um yep yeah, he took me on back and they started giving me some drugs and i started feeling a little bit sleepy but the procedure like you're semi-conscious for so that's kind of freaky and like they told us in the injections class like you're gonna be feeling some things which is like the freakiest part of it all. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I felt the pressure of the, the like ultrasound wand, like internally, like pushing up on my ovaries while he was in there. And then they, um, pushed the needle like to go and to aspirate all the liquid in each of the follicles, to, like suck it out. And then hopefully, you know, an egg comes out with it, um, through like, the upper part of your vagina, like on the inside, like where it would meet the cervix, which leads into your uterus. So they're not actually going into your uterus, but they're just going like all the way to the furthest point on the inside of you and then poking a needle into your abdomen to like go over to your ovary. And then they just start poking and popping all of the little follicles that have grown on your ovaries. So, um, I felt that. <laughs> Wait, they poked a needle through your stomach? No, through my vagina. Right. Well, I thought you said they were doing two different things. No, no. The it, the ultrasound wand was also yeah. in my vagina. Okay. <laughs> two things in there at the same time. Actually, three things, really, because they also have a speculum camera. in there. No. No oh. camera. You can't see anything. <laughs> well, I guess that's kind of what the ultrasound thing is, is a camera. No, it's not a camera. <clears throat> ultrasound isn't a camera. That's like radiography. There's some... Okay. No, ultrasound is not a camera. Okay. Did you think all those ultrasounds were somehow cameras? They, <laughs> somehow they see up there. Yeah, using ultrasound. Okay. Like the exact same image that you saw on all those appointments you came with me? Yeah. The internal wand where yeah. they're... And right. you see the image up on the screen and it's I black and they white? Said they were putting a cam I thought they said there was a camera so they could find all the... No. Um, Follicles. They'd have to literally cut a hole in me to get a uh, camera in there. Okay. They're just doing ultrasound because they, all they need to see is the pockets. Okay. And then they can see the needle on the ultrasound and they guide it to the pocket of fluid, okay. puncture it, drain the liquid out okay. through the wall of my vagina, through the needle, and then into like a little receptacle. And then they pass that to the embryologist who starts dumping out the liquid and looking for embryos. Okay. Anyway, so I had 47 follicles total. So they um, punctured all of those <laughs> and I felt pressure and I felt the pain of them like stabbing the needle into my abdomen. That was not fun. I thought, okay, when we left that day, you said you didn't feel very much. Only, only in, During only when it was pressure. actually happening. Yeah. Yeah, I felt yeah. them do the poke through like into my abdomen through my upper vaginal wall um, on the left and the right side because they had to do each side to get to each yeah. ovary. So that day, like right after we left, I didn't feel a ton of pressure. Like it was fine. It felt about the same as when I went in, to be honest, except for I was high on drugs. And uh, here's a little snippet from the Jeep. After we finished the procedure, we had a little yeah. after thing and I'm clearly like, oh, I'm on drugs. <laughs> Hey guys, just finished the procedure and we are getting ready to head home. So, 
um, in terms of, like, discomfort and everything, because ours was, like, you're semi-awake for it, so I was really kind of worried about, um, feeling a lot of discomfort, but it wasn't very bad, and, like, he was on it. Mostly the discomfort I actually felt was from the, like, internal ultrasound being done at the same time. Still high on drugs. Um, so, I didn't really feel that much discomfort, and they were like on it so that was great they took they were, care of you when you had to go do your thing like they were on it right it was scooped you right in up in and out quick yeah so we got here we total went, we've been here for two hours yeah two hours in and out um so yeah, yeah. how many eggs on a drum roll <laughs> 31 eggs so 31 and they'll call us tomorrow and let us know how many fertilized and how many were mature and yeah. we're excited for that information yep but in total there were 47 follicles there were 31 that were looking in the mature range as of sunday no monday 31 in the mature range and then there was another 16 that were like undersized and not likely going to be mature but 31 so i'm impressed eric was like you did you willed it to be 30. she beat her 30. one so. bonus egg so um yeah so now we just have to count down and wait for the fertilization reports and the updates on days three and five to let us kind of know how everything's progressing so <sighs> the worst physical part of it is over and now it's just like the mental waiting game of like what are we gonna end up with so yep so we'll get some more information tomorrow but for now i think we're off to get some food grab some breakfast on the way home yes and then me nap so i can get off of drugs so Right now, I'm not feeling a lot of pain, which is good. Um, yeah, so anyway, we'll catch you guys later. Um, yeah, so then we came home, and how was that? When we came home, mm -hmm. she pretty much slept the rest of the day. But yeah. I don't know if that was the drugs or her. <laughs> I do love a good nap. Um, she sleeps, but I mean... Could have just been like stressed and, and stuff from the procedure and everything. Plus the medication. Yeah. Plus was, your love for naps. Well, and the night before I just kept like semi waking up because I kept having dreams that like <clears throat> they were in there and they were like, there's no eggs. Yeah. <laughs> that was she horrible. didn't sleep well the night before. No. So, so, yeah. Took a little nappy poo. And then the after effects from it. Oh. And we forgot yours. So yeah, when they wheeled me back for... Um, I separated. Yeah. When they wheeled me back for... To you know, put me out on the table and start stabbing me. They took him over to, yeah. to his suite. Yeah, I had my own suite. <laughs> uh, I would hope it's not like a community room. <laughs> weird. <laughs> Just a personal suite. Uh, yeah, okay. So he had... <laughs> Paid extra for that. Yeah. No, uh, so they took him over to his area so he could provide his sample, because obviously we needed that for the, for the eggs so we could create embryos. Um, yeah, so how was your little suite? It was, it was decent. Of acceptable quality. Yeah. <laughs> he got the same room that he was in before when he provided his sample, like, a year and a half ago. New testing. So. Yeah, to do initial testing just to make sure, like, he wasn't infertile. It was just me. Um, <laughs> he passed, so he got to visit his room again, and yep. everything was fine there. Um, and then just that day, we ended up with um, 31 eggs that they retrieved. So we'll kind of update from there. We're going to do another video right after this, talking about 
the day one report that says how many were mature, the day three report that said what the day three report said, and then also the day five report, which just happened today. There's also going to be a day six and a day seven report, but we'll get to that later. Mm -hmm. um, but we just thought we would update you guys. So that's how our egg retrieval procedure went. I was in a lot of pain for... Let's see. So Wednesday was the day of the procedures. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today's Monday. So today's the day I'm like really feeling a lot better. Yesterday I kind of turned the corner, but I literally had gained seven pounds in like two days after the procedure. I was so swollen in my abdomen. That was all so after much, the procedure. I thought yeah. you said before. Hmm. Uh -huh. After. In the two, two, three days after I gained seven pounds. Mm. Um, because I had 47 follicles, my doctor had started me on a medicine for OHSS, which is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, which I strongly believe was happening because I had so many follicles. And they were like, yeah, some people return to work the next day and they feel totally fine. That was not the case with me. I was in a lot of pain um, and a lot of swelling and a lot of discomfort. Um, so she was out until Friday. Yeah, I was out of work until Sunday. I didn't work Saturday either. Well, I know, but you were kind of just like out of commission in general. Oh, for sure, yeah. Like Wednesday, obviously you slept all day. Thursday, I think, was pretty much a lot of the same things. I went to class that day, so. Yeah, it was a lot um, of pain. But I think you pretty much did the same thing Thursday. And then Friday, you actually got up and started moving around, got out of the house. Yeah. That was really uncomfortable. So I hope to not have to do that again. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, but my doctor had a me, me on a medicine called Cabergolin, C-A-B-E-R-L-O-N-I-N-E. C-A-B-E-R-L-O-N-I-N-E, yes. Um, so I was taking that two days before our retrieval and then also uh, six days after or five days after. So two days before the retrieval, one day of the retrieval, five days after. So, so I think today is my last pill that I have for it. Um, and I, I genuinely think if I didn't take that, I probably would have been really, really, really sick. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. It, it made you not feel well. Also. Yeah. Yeah. It made me feel dizzy and not great either. So anyway. Okay. So we're going to wrap this one up. That was our egg retrieval. That was intense and I'm glad it's done and I hope we don't have to do it again. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you in the next video with all of our egg, juicy egg numbers. Yep. Bye. Bye.